Buenas nachos, everybody. This is your host, AMF1534, here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Gran Turismo 2. Now, we finally got this all done last time. Look at how beautiful and precious that is. Albeit, with all that done, we are still 34% done with the game. So we have a long ways to go. But we're starting up a brand new thing today. We're going to the Gran Turismo League. Going to the Japan Nationals. Going all the way over to Asian land. Going to the Midfield Raceway, where all three of these races are going to take place. And it's the first time that we get to use Tom's Angel T01. So let's do it in the butt. I'm sitting here watching the Miami game in the background, so I get to have two cool things happen at the same time. Go Miami, by the way. I don't like the Pacers. Never really have liked the Pacers, really. It's just, uh, I don't know, it's not my not my thing, really. Are those a bunch of, like, Mazda Demios? Is that what I'm looking at right now? Because that's, that's kind of how it's coming off right now. Mazda Demios, those goddamn things. Ugh, they're so slow. In comparison to what we've been using for the last while with all those awesome ass like touring cars and racing vehicles and now here we are stuck with this little micro machine. It's alright though. Tom's angels are pretty awesome. We, we got to see those, you know, working in, in full octane last time. I'm just hoping that we're gonna be able to win this. I, I mean this is this is nationals. This is this is the real shit. I mean we're we're not we're not playing around anymore. We're not we're not doing those little Little things. This is this is real life. This is all real footage. I was I was doing this today, earlier, when I was at work, getting paid to be here. <laughs> there we go. Good old midfield raceway with a tiny. Ad this car is so small. Like I feel like that. If that's like a Honda Beat behind me, like I feel like he's the only one that knows how I feel right now, driving around on this track with such a small ass car. I mean, it's working though. It's 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 actually got pretty good handling via the fact that it has uh, mid-engine uh, transmission, so that's working out pretty solid. By the way, it's story time today. I had a, I had these two people that came in. Oh boy, I should have got better brakes for you, senor, senorite. But I had these two people that came in today. They pissed me the hell off because they were by far two of the most like blatantly stubborn people in the world. They're like the, the kind of people that you absolutely hate to have in retail. At least the, the kind of retail where, you know, they come for you, they come to you for advice about something and then you talk to them and they absolutely won't listen to you even though like they came to you for a reason. <laughs> so, I'm so I'm sitting here, I go and I help these people. And like the the lady was a little bit less of a dick than the guy was, mainly cuz she doesn't have a dick, I would hope, but you never know. So, uh, so I'm helping her with something, and uh, she was okay in the beginning. She was like, "Okay, well, you know, I'll give this a try. It seems like a, it seems like a good idea." But then I go, I we move on to her husband, and he's got like the typical, "Well, I'm a guy, so I don't need any help with anything." Type of you know type of attitude, because you know that always gets you somewhere in life all the time. And so you know he's got he's got bad acid reflux, and so you know I'm telling him all the different things that he can do for that, and I was like, "Okay, so." So I was like, well, have you tried ginger before? He's like, well, you know, I've, I've, I've tried that before. It seems like it works okay. I was like, well, the only problem with ginger is it doesn't really, it doesn't really, like, get down to the actual problem and solve it. It only makes you feel better while you have it, because it's not making it go away. I was like, so, things that you can do that will actually make it go away? I was like, well, let's, let's, uh, let's try, have you tried, like, aloe vera juice before? So he was, he was, you know, he was, seemed like he was doing okay, and then all of a sudden his wife comes over, he's like, oh, no, no, Jeff, no. I got you some of that, and you try it, and it didn't do anything. It's like, okay, well, how long did you take it for? Because if you're doing stuff for heartburn like that, you got to take it for longer than, oh, I don't know, like fucking two days. Because I guarantee you that that was exactly how it went. The people that always have arguments with this stuff never take it long enough. Like the people that have like this this thing engraved into their skulls where they like blatantly don't want to follow the, the, the directions on these things. Wow, that was like Toyota Vitz Day for some reason. So it wasn't a Demio, which I'm fine with. I have, oh, Honda Logo. That's what that little thing was. I think. Oh, no, that was that Mazda AZ-1. Huh, weird. That thing was tiny. Look at that little guy. He got us, he got us our first win of the day. But yeah, so, I don't know. It was just, it was stupid. So, she's like, no, no, it, it doesn't work. We, we already tried this. It, 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 it doesn't do anything. 
And he's like, okay, so I guess it doesn't do anything. And I was like, all right, well, how about... I was like, how about, have you tried, um, have you tried, let's see what the hell else what I was saying. I, I, I gotta go into my, uh, into the old uh, thingamajig here, and I gotta get out another car. Which that Mazda Demio A-Spec may not be a bad idea. I just gotta remember what the, uh, the limit was. 295. I think that Demio is going to work out just lovely. Now that we think about it. 264. That's gonna be fine. I'll take that. That is, that is good. So, yeah, I was like, okay, well, have you tried something like, uh, like hydrochloric acid? Even though that sounds like a bad idea, hydrochloric acid is actually known to fix that kind of problem. He's like, he's like, nope, it took one, it made me throw up. I was like, yep, I'll bet. And so, after that, I was like, okay, well, have you tried, like, um, have you tried, like, um, like a digestive enzyme complex? Because usually, heartburn is onset by your body having, you know, undigested particles of food sitting in your stomach that like your body has to continuously produce gastric acid to try to deal with it and so unless you have proper enzymes to address that it's just gonna keep happening over and over again and he's like nope took one of those made me throw up it's like oh, dude it's like stop making damn excuses like he's being too damn stubborn for his own good I was like okay well I think I named off like two other things from to try he's like nope nope doesn't do anything it's like well Okay, and he's like, and I just, I, I hate taking pills, like, okay, so you're pretty much eliminating every possible way for your body to actually be able to fix this, unless you just start eating ginger for the rest of your life, but that's still not going to fix it. It just, it, it makes you feel better for a little while. It's like, okay, well, I was like, well, the only other way that you can have a, a chance at this working for you is if you start, you know, putting lemon wedges in, in your water with pretty much every glass of water that you drink for quite a while, because that's that's supposed to like alkalize your system. So I was like, so that's really if you're going to if you're going to go on the program that you're that you're hell bent on going on, this is the only really the only option that you've got. <laughs> and he's like, well, I really I don't like drinking water. I just I don't know. I just I never really I'm I'm, I'm just I'm really stubborn, and uh, I just I couldn't stand it, man. It's like. Why is it that, like, why would you even ask for my advice on stuff to do for heartburn if you're not going to listen to any of it? I mean, I gave you, like, ten different things that you could do, and he's just like, nope, nope, doesn't work, doesn't work, nope, tried it, made me throw up, nope, nope, doesn't work. It's like, I know that this stuff works, because, you know, the other, like, five million people that I've sold these things to seems to work just fine for them. Maybe you're taking it the wrong way, which wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, anybody that seems to take pills, like, they want you to take three, well, no, I, I just, I only take one. And then they, they come back like a week later. Well, this stuff didn't even do anything for me. And it's like, well, how many were you taking? Well, I was just taking one. But it take it tells you to take three. Well, that's just too many. So, well, oh, really? I didn't know that you were a scientist all of a sudden. I didn't know that you're the one that made this and that you know that by taking the, the, the amount that they're actually recommending, that that's too much. Well, it might make my stomach hurt. Well, then if it made your... Like, why would it make your stomach hurt? Why would, why would a company knowingly... Why, why would they knowingly have you take that many if it's going to make your stomach hurt? It's like, have you even have you even made an attempt to do that yet? Well, no. Well, then don't complain like a little bitch. Just fucking take the damn thing and shove off, you know? I mean, that's 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 the problem that I have with, with people sometimes. That they'll, they'll come in there and they expect you to be able to fix your problem. And then when you actually, you know, start helping them try to fix the problem, they just all of a sudden, if it's not what they wanted to hear, then then there's like, nope, uh, nope, doesn't happen that way, nope, this is not how it is. It's like, all right, well then you can you can go back to having, you know, chronically terrible, um, chronically terrible heartburn in which your esophageal lining is going to start eroding out to hell. So you can enjoy that, enjoy having poopy health for the rest of your days. Ooh, didn't make that shot. Look at this, we are we are cruising right along right now. That, my friends, is what I am talking about. And it looks like uh, Indiana is still holding on to a two-point lead right now. Ooh, that was a... Damn, Tommy Kira, I could have used that. I definitely have one of those, I think. No, no, I don't have the coupe, though. I've got that ZZ3. That would have definitely been more than what we could handle. Or more than the, uh, the, the requirements. <laughs> well, that will no longer be required. He is in my care as of today. A foul, stupid. I mean, as long as Miami doesn't win by double digits, even though I want them to win, my streak for the cash will be fine, because I picked the Pacers to either win or lose by single digits. So, it's all good. Okay, so 345. That's, that's what we're going to be doing here, huh? What can we do? What 
kind of a grade am I going to give you? I've got an idea. I'm going to give you an F. That's right, a big fat F. Let's see, there's that ZZ2. That's got way more. God, that car is so awesome looking. Look at that thing. It's so sick. I want one in my life somewhere. 383, that is too much. Otherwise, I would totally use it right now. Tom's T111. Nope, that's not going to work. How's about a Mugen Civic? No. Hmm. S4, that's not going to work. Do I have two of those angels? Tom's T... Ooh. Hey, all right, this is going to work. That'll be fine. Okay, let's let's go tune that thing up a little bit. Let's go, let's go uh, pour some lemon in that vestibule. Into Toyota. Okay, so 345 is the limit, so let's, let's just stay in... Okay, so that's already good. Well, it looks like they've already gotten ahead of me a little bit here. Unless I already came in here and did this. I may have already done this with this car before. Um, we can't even... Ooh. So. Yikes. Okay, yeah, not gonna do that. That's that's a little bit much. You know what? We're, we're probably gonna be okay. I mean, we we definitely won that race pretty handily. So let's let's give it a quick go. I think, I think we're gonna be alright to handle this. Oh, Miami's ahead now. Well, how's about that? Oh, okay, never mind. Not anymore. <laughs> right as I say something. Hey, take this! Hey, guys! Check this out! Okay, well, what are we up against today? Looks like I saw a Super down there. God forbid we need to see one of those again. I see a Skyline there. I can see a Mitsubishi a Galant over there, it looks like. Oh, we're, we're in for a real doozy tonight, aren't we? I hope that 315 horsepower, whatever the hell this thing's cooking under the old under the old boot shirt right now, or the hood. Neither one of those things made sense, actually, but I'm running with that. Hopefully that's going to be enough for us to win. I mean, we're definitely... This could be a slight disadvantage that we couldn't really do a whole lot more with this. I probably could have put a port and polish on this thing, but I was a little bit lazy about it. I was like, eh, whatever. We'll deal with it another time. I just, you know, we, we've definitely won races that we had no business winning before with, with underclass cars. That's that's definitely nothing new here in in the broad scheme of things. I mean, that, that, that race that we won on uh, that German track or whatever the hell it was with that, uh, with that Europa car... Uh, that one still kind of baffles me to this day a little bit because we definitely had no business winning that. Just, you know, it's taking me back, you know, okay. Please, no. I gotta deal with the Supra again? I mean, obviously it seems to be that I have better top-end speed than that car, so I'm not, I mean, that's definitely not the issue here. The issue is just, you know, executing the game plan of me winning and them not winning. Obviously, the super is going to be the problem. He's going to be, he's going to be the old, the old kryptonite for the evening. Come on, just got to get down there. I got to, on top of that, I have to stave off these other guys too, because I feel like this is going to be where they would start trying to catch up to me a little bit, and I'm not going to let it happen. I'm coming for you, and when I get there, I'm going to shove a banana in your tailpipe and have you go straight to car purgatory. There we go. I love, I love being able to do that. I love doing that. I just, I don't know. There's something about like me just, I would hate to be the guy on the receiving end of that being like, oh, dude, this guy's cut me off. What a douche. Not to mention scratching up all that paint. I would be pissed if that was actually like an actual practice that they did in racing, which I'm sure they probably do to an extent. I mean, people get cut off all the time, but not where you're like actually like deliberately slamming into them going, you know, 100 miles an hour. I don't feel like that's how this goes. Okay, here we go. I mean, this has definitely been a nice productive episode today. You know, barring that I win this race, I mean, we'll have completely knocked out the entire Japan Nationals. I, that's, that's pretty sweet. Come on, we just gotta do this turn. This turn is the one that would cause me a problem. There we go. No problem there. Okay, last turn. This is the only turn remaining, really, because the other one doesn't really count. Because it just—it's not even really a turn. It's like you just—it just like cradles you in there. Well, look at that, my friends. We have totally, totally dominated the Japan Nationals. I mean, this wasn't even a ch 
Not even a challenge of any kind. Look at that. So who do we race against today? I know... Oh, the RX-7 got second place, huh? Oh, that was a Lancer Evo. That wasn't even... That wasn't even a Galant. I thought it was one of those. Okay, so Supra 300ZX. I knew that. Okay, yeah, well, there we go. Well, how about that, my friends? We are the winners. The winners of the Japan Nationals and just a little bit of money and no prize car. Oh, darn. <laughs> I don't really need any more of those. I mean, it's not really important for me to to have that. But upon that knowledge, look at that. That one's out of the way. So when we come back on uh, the next installment of Let's Play Gran Turismo 2, I think we might do the U.S. Nationals. Let's see what we're looking at. 246, 295, and 394. Looks very similar. But we're going to probably have to go out and buy a car for that because I don't even think that we really have anything in there. I think that all the cars that we have that are American made, I think, are too strong. With the exception of this one, this will definitely work. We're going to use some PT Spider action again when we come back. So until then, this is your host AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching, and we are 35% done now. We just we made a little a little bit of progress today. So we're going to have fun next time. Until then, I'm going to go watch the rest of the game and go take a piss. So this is your host AMF1534 saying thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, guys.